I listen, you can go ahead and skip the whole, uh, you know, open the fridge and get a drink deal. Kayak, getting ready, batteries, charged. Got my gear set up, I got some things to rig up. Uh, got a couple poles going. Next stop is the Texas Bass Master State to whatever. Anywho, we're headed to East Texas. I got things to do, but a box showed up on my porch. So we're gonna open it. And I know I've said this before and it hasn't always happened. So today we might actually legitimately do this thing, right? We got some things in a box and we're gonna do what's called an unboxing in case you've never been on YouTube before. I'm kidding. I know. Dang well, y'all know what we're doing. We got six sec and even though I am simplifying my fishing, right? I got six rods that I'm taking out there. That's pretty dope. Uh, even though I'm simplifying my fishing, I still, I still have a problem, right? I can't, I can't do the whole uh, not be prepared thing. It, it drives my anxiety bonkers. And uh, so, anywho, got this nice, beautiful blue again. Still don't know what y'all do with these. Um, I don't know. I've got a bag of them. There's a whole bag of them right there, right, right there. That thing right there is stuffed full of them. I don't know, do y'all need some bags? So we're gonna dive right through it, right out the gate. Okay, okay. A little Ned Fry, watermelon scents. It's actually a nice color, looks two-tone. We'll bust one of those out for you real quick. We'll bust one of them out. We're gonna drop a couple of them. Ooh. All right, so see that blue? A little bit of a blue hue. Um, these are pretty buoyant the last time I checked. So uh, there's that. I, I've caught fish Texas rigging these. Um, if I went to the store, I, it wouldn't, dude, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be on my list. Not right now. I'm not knocking the Ned Fry. Um, I'm just trying to stay focused and, and really dial in like specific techniques. So would I buy it? Not right now. Um, is it, is it a good soft plastic? It is. <clears throat> yes. I'm going to a place where this is the color. Um, this is a half ounce axle hybrid jig in black, blue, and purple. Boom. And uh, this color right here, like, so, all right, last time I went out there, I uh, fished my watermelon reds, fished some chartreuse stuff, like I couldn't get the action on it. And then I said, all right, maybe maybe what some folks told me was the the truth, right? Black and blue out there. Dude, it was. I fished the same area with the same bait in this color versus the previous colors, and I was getting bit. So, super sick. Um, would I buy this right now? <clears throat> hmm, I don't know. I don't, like, I don't need it. I, I went through all of my tackle organized. Y'all saw some social media stuff later, like right in front of me is all of you know those safe like whatever the plastic boxes like i'm good right now so would i buy this right now i i wouldn't because i'm good um if i didn't already have this then yes absolutely the axle hybrid jig pretty awesome i love that the hook swings independent from the jig head itself when the fish jumps the hook moves it reduces the amount of leverage that they can use to throw the bait physics all that jazz Axle hybrid jig, half ounce. This is getting thrown this weekend on some 30 pound braid, though, by the way. That's what I fish my swim jigs on in cover is 30 pound braid. So far, I'm pretty stoked. That and Ned Fry probably get thrown this weekend. Um, dude, provoke 97. Uh, what can I tell you about these? Um, this is a Prophet Shad. This is a great color, by the way, if you haven't already seen. Uh, the Provoke 97X. They throw great. I throw it on 10 pound fluoro. I can bomb cast it out there. Uh, I use the little stick it weights uh, to, you know, adjust for my buoyancy. Um, I can tell you that on live, uh, the uh, deep diver gets down 10, 12 feet. Uh, no current, obviously, but um, 
Yeah, pretty soaked on that. Uh, if I were to tell you how deep the regular one gets, I'd be like, I think it's like five or six feet. It says three to five feet. So um, I can use, I usually see that they go a little bit deeper than what they say. And of course, temperature, all that different jazz can affect those things. Um, would I buy this if I went to the store right now? I'd say no, uh, and that is because I already have a nice little selection of 97s. Um, so pretty stoked on that. That's a good deal. We're doing no cuts today. All right, what is this? Crush Mini 25X. So, if you've watched my other videos before, you know that I'm not like a super huge fan of the minis and that's because they're just so light. But if you wait one moment, all right, I'm going out east and I'm gonna be doing some fishing out there. And a buddy of mine was like, hey, it doesn't need to quite be BFS, but if you have some smaller, lighter cranks, by the way, the Mini 25X is a one quarter ounce little crank. So um, it was like, if you have some smaller cranks, you know, that's the deal. All right, so here's, the deal I have a let me check let me check the rod let me check the rod here this is a seven foot mod fast um, it's it's uh I, I got them on sale I got them on sale at Academy it was the H2O Express like the big old carbon fiber handle dude it's it's a very light rod um, you know, obviously a lot of bend for being a moderate fast um, I I tell you all the time these reels these Bass Pro Pro Qualifier, like cheapy reels, um, are freaking bang for the buck, dude. You, you can't beat them. I beat, I beat the snot out of these. Um, what line do I got these on? I think this is eight pound. Normally I write with a Sharpie on the reel. Um, my dumbass didn't do that this time. I believe it's eight pound fluoro. But uh, so would I buy this? I, right now, at this very second, by the way, this is the Ghost Pro, Sh Ghost Pro Shad, right? You are, y'all already know. Six Cents has like amazing looking baits. Even Rick Clund, the legend, said it. Um, so would I buy this right now? Like maybe not right at this moment, but probably like closer to when um, I'll be going there. I I would. But I've started throwing them so that I can get comfortable with them, uh, so that I can look at depths on live and all that different stuff. Um, Crush Mini 25X. Wouldn't buy it right now, but they're great small cranks. You go back in my socials, you can see that I literally like shot one of these videos and then went out and caught fish. I'm trying to do this with no cuts, and my nose right now is saying I'm about to sneeze boogery snot all over the place. It is springtime in Texas. All right, what do we got here? Munch 40, 7 16th ounce. We're just gonna call her a half ounce crank. Um, this little dude, so would I buy this right now? Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty well stocked up on a lot of my hard plastics. Um, it, if I wasn't though, this is a great little crank. Um, so these guys are a, if I remember correctly, they're kind of a shallow color. Shallow cover. Um, this is in the Shad Burst, which is one of my favorite colors. You know, a little screen on the GoPro, right? And so I can see what it sees, and I'm like trying to make sure that, you know, y'all can see some of that. Yeah, Shad Burst, great Shad imitator color. Um, this is a shallow diver. I I think like two to two to four maybe. Um, and so you know, if you're the shallow power fisherman guy, that's the deal. Also, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. But if you look at the body profile, it's really wide up top, really thin in back. So rather than it going through the water like this, it really swings around a little bit. So uh, those, mul those more bulbous front, uh, front ends on the plastic cranks, they do affect the action um, of it. And so if you are so wise in your fishing knowledge as to know what the, what the fish want that day, right? Whether it's a tight wobble of like a, like a rattle trap type deal or the, you know, wider swing of, of some of the more bulbous cranks. Freaking awesome, holler at your boy, let me know. Cause <laughs> I just throw shit until they start biting it and then I try to dial in from there. I'm not the guy. We got two more things left. It feels like some hooks. All right. Hmm. Perplexed. Usually that's because they will uh, 
So like when they have soft plastics, a lot of times they'll include the hooks for it. Um, and those are called the, those are called the Ned Fry. It's a 4.6. Um, I don't know, man, maybe we're just going to end up, I, it's a three aught. This is a three aught worm hook, right? Jugular hybrid hook, whatever. Um, it is, it is an offset hook though, right? So like, if you look at it, the bend, right? The bend is down here. The hook is up there. So, you know, if you kind of rig this straight when they do bite it, it's not in line with, with your line. So it immediately does hook. Um, they're pretty, pretty good. I use the ones that I get from Six Sense because you pay for them, so use them. Um, I just prefer screw locks because I'm lazy and I feel that uh, my baits last a bit longer with screw locks. But what do you guys think? This on some 30 pound braid with these guys and some monster hook sets? I, I feel like that might happen this weekend. I don't know if this is blue enough though, man. Certainly got some cool colors, man. It's like that iridescent blue. Um, watermelon scents. That's pretty dope. All right, can y'all see? Y'all see some of that iridescent? This might be, this might be the juice. This could be the juice this weekend. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. I'll throw a shit out of it. And let you know. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all that different jazz. Don't worry, we're not done yet. We got one more. We got one more out of the bag. And it is... Dude, you can't beat them. Um, Crush Flat 75X. Would I buy this right now? Uh, wild Lava Crawfish. Uh, I wouldn't, again, because I already have it. So, um, if you don't have any of the Flat 75Xs or the uh, Finesse F4s, right? Like this guy that I freaking look at. Yeah, <laughs> they don't swim good with water in them. Uh, I was fishing some pylons. Damn on that sucker and then also you know here's something too look at see see this see this uh this is a, a axle swinging swim jig um it's got that hybrid head on it but if you look real close i don't know if you can see so uh again these these guys i like out of all my six cents stuff like this is the only stuff that's really fallen victim um dude i was skipping this around some rocks and i thought I, I thought I was lined up. It turns out I was not. Um, and this was against some bridge pilings. Let's see if we can get that to focus. You can literally see, look at that back, that back little section right there. She is, <laughs> she smoked boys. Um, yeah, uh, self-inflicted. Uh, you know, I'm pretty straight up about, I, f I feel like I'm pretty honest about all the stuff that I fish. Um, and, uh, malfunctions have been limited to that so um crush flat 75x so i mean if you i'm not a huge rattle trap guy i throw them i catch fish on them i've got plenty of uh you know flat side crank lipless whatever i don't know whatever all y'all call them but uh but yeah the 75x dude they they bomb good um i normally throw them on uh, 12 to 15 pound fluoro on uh Don't you, I don't want y'all see all my juice, but this is normally what I throw that on. That is the 7.2 medium heavy MF -er rod. Um, been pretty stoked with these rods. Anywho, that's what I throw it on. This is the whole deal. We're at like 13 minutes. I'm gonna upload this straight to YouTube so that y'all can see what the deal is. Down in the comments, let me know, are you a success subscriber? Uh, if you are, Tell me why you stay subscribed. I think I might know the answer to that. If you're not, tell me Tell me why not, right? Is it uh, not a Sixth Sense person? Um, is it that you've watched some of my videos and you just aren't really excited by some of the baits? Um, is it money? Like, all of those are very legitimate reasons to not subscribe to the Six Sack. Um, if you do want to subscribe to the six sack, this is where I would tell you to put a code in, but I don't have a code. Um, I don't care to have a code. I'm, I'm, uh, I fish a little bit of everything. So this is not captive. It's not sponsored. I pay for this and then I put it on YouTube for y'all to enjoy. 
and uh yeah that's that's pretty rad so um i dig it i hope y'all are doing well i hope you're staying rad i am headed out to texas louisiana i live in texas i'm heading out to east texas louisiana area for the weekend um <clears throat> i hope that uh i hope we can find them i got a buddy who's gonna join me out there uh a, a few buddies actually that are gonna join me out there and uh at the very least it, it's gonna be a good time I, i've got to narrow down to like six or seven things that i'm gonna fish i hope it's productive do subscribe to the channel because yesterday i went up north about three hours from me and uh we cranked on them. Largies, spots, smallies, the works, all on swim baits. <sighs> yeah, I could sit here and replay a lot of that stuff in my head. It was freaking awesome. I hope the video turns out just as good. So that's it. Again, my name is Peter. This is my chaotic fishing. Thank you so very much for all of you who have been supporting everything that we got going on. And if you're new, Fuck it. You're not new anymore. You watched it and now you're here and you're enjoying it. Obviously, as you can see, there's a lot of things going on and we're glad to have you. Unless unless you're one of those people, you got all your shit together. You got all your life. You got everything so squared away. I envy you. I truly do. I do not. And there's a lot of people I think that can relate. So here we are. That's it. That's all I got. All right. I'm going to finish loading this stuff up because I got about four and a half hour drive east here in a few hours. Hit up my Instagram, my Facebook. Stories will be there all the time. I put a lot of stories out because I can just click through them and say, hey, here's what's going on. Um, the posts, obviously, if there's no things. And uh, yeah, yeah, no, don't got any of this stuff figured out. I'm just taking you all along for the ride. I'm going on some adventures and we're, we're gonna end it right here. All right, 16 minutes, peace.